Hi everybody, welcome back to another C++ tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing the discussion about containers in the STL. Um, and today we'll be talking about what are called DEX. And so it, you spell it like this and it's pronounced DEX, not DECWAY or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it stands for double-ended Q and then the S is just, that just makes it plural. But yeah, double-ended Q. And so, the nice thing about working with the STL, uh, which I didn't mention last time, is that since we know a lot of how to use vectors, a lot of the syntax for how to use vectors, how to access elements, how to add elements, um, we know a lot of the syntax for DEX. They work the same way. And I need to be clear on this, DEX do the same thing as vectors. They're both like expandable arrays, but they do it in somewhat different ways. So it's important to understand the difference and when you would want to use a vector versus when you'd want to use a deck. And the, and the difference is in um, performance. Um, decks are good at some things that vectors are not good at, and vectors are good at some things that decks are not good at. And that's what I'll tell you about in this video. But first, um, how do you make a deck? Well, it's the same way that you make a vector. You, it's still a template class, and it still is in the STDU namespace, by the way. Um, and so you got to put in integers, or you can put whatever you want in there. It could be even your own class. And then you can make a name for it. And you can make it without arguments. You can make it with arguments. Same thing as we said last time. So if I did it like that, uh, with five zeros, then we'd start off with five zeros. Uh, you can traverse a uh, deck the same way as you would for a vector, and so you, you notice the size method is the same thing. Um, so, if you've learned how to, if you've learned how, like the syntax of using one one type of container, you know how to use all of them. Uh, but that's not enough. You really do need. I mean, it's important to know when you want to use uh, which container. It can it can make a it's noticeable difference in some cases. So you just, I mean, if you're going to output the elements, you do something like this, number i is, and then you can just use the brackets. Very similar. Um, in fact, exactly the same. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, basically, if you've watched the last video, you know, you know how to do most things that you, you're going to need to do using dex. But, um, What's the difference between decks? Why would you want to use a deck instead of using a vector? Well, the difference is that a deck, well, okay, a vector was very good at uh, removing or tacking on elements at the end, so at the end of the vector, adding on a, a new element or removing the last element. Vectors were, were good at that. They could do that quickly. They were not good at removing or inserting elements anywhere else. They weren't good at doing it in the middle anywhere. They weren't do it good at doing it at the beginning. Decks are still not good at doing it anywhere in the middle. But decks can do it can remove and tack on elements very very efficiently at the end, so same as vectors, and they can also do that at the beginning. So that is the main uh, reason that you would want to use a deck is if your design is set up so that you will be adding on elements at the end, uh, sorry, at the beginning of your array or your container, and also removing elements at the uh, beginning. And so that's why you want to use a deck, and that makes sense because it's a double-ended queue. You, I mean, that sort of makes intuitive sense because you think, okay, it has one, it has two ends that can that are both just as efficient as the other one. So I don't want to confuse you, but I just mean that. It, it's just as good at working with the beginning as it is at, at working with the end. So I made a little diagram. Um, I didn't open it. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I just opened the little diagram here. So here's how a deck works. Um, first of all, if you think back to how a vector works, it's really just a big old list of elements. So it's it's all sequential in memory, which is something that I didn't mention about vectors, but you can kind of discern that that the next element in a vector is literally the next element in memory. And that is always true. Even when you reallocate 
or like change the capacity of the vector, it's reallocating a whole new string, not not string like the data type, but a whole new uh, sequence of memory and putting all of the elements in there. So vectors are always ordered in memory. Dex, as you can see, work somewhat differently. Instead of having one huge block, they have several little blocks. So in this little example, there are um, three different blocks and uh, some of them hold four elements. Actually, only this one holds four elements and the others hold different amounts of elements. Obviously, this is not exactly how it works, but I'm just giving you an idea of how decks work by having different uh, blocks of elements. So in some ways, they're like a collection of vectors, which is kind of interesting in a way. But okay, so so the actual deck header, so things that you can that you can sort of this is where like the methods and that sort of thing uh, would be uh, has a beginning, uh, a pointer which is called it's not actually called this, but okay, I'm, I'm sorry, a pointer to the beginning which points to the first element of of your array. So it happens to be right here at the top of this block. It will all be always be at the top of some block, but the point is um, there's a pointer that points to it, and then the end. There's also a pointer that points to the last element, and then there are pointers that point to each of the little individual blocks. So when you access an element in a deck, it's a, a slightly different process than when you access it in a vector because it has to figure out which block it's in, then sort of ride that pointer to that block and then get it uh, from wherever it is in memory. So what this means is, you know, in contrast with vectors, these are not necessarily all sequential in memory. So if you are looking at element 4 and then you go exactly one element over in memory, like if you're doing pointer arithmetic or something, which you shouldn't do, but I, I'm just saying, if you went one element over, that's not necessarily going to be element 5, like it would be in a vector. So it works somewhat differently than that. But the consequences of the, the consequence of this is that the beginning looks very similar to the end. They're both uh, just blocks. Uh, and so uh, this means that you know, you can add an element at the beginning and also add an element at the end and it's the same performance it, it, speed of doing both of those tasks. It's still not good to, to remove elements or add them in the center because now you're gonna have to like reorder all these things. You might have to reallocate these other blocks. It's, it's rather complicated how it's gonna have to resize if you're throwing stuff in the middle. They let you do it. You can use those methods with decks, but it's not it's not efficient. There, there are better ways of accomplishing the same goal. So I hope that I hope my little diagram clears that up a little bit for you. The, the thing that you syntactically need to know for DEX um, is now that I've told you that it's good to add elements or remove elements from the from the beginning of the container. I need to show you how. And so if you remember to to put an element at the end, you do push back. 10, so something like that. That would tack on 10 to the end of your container. To tack on 10 at the start of your container, you just, instead of push back, you push front. Okay? And that will tack that on at the front of your container. It's the same if you're going to pop front, which means remove that uh, very first element. So there you go. That's dex. That's what they're good for. They are a little bit worse than vectors at doing pretty much everything else. And so when you're talking about traversing in, a, in one of these containers, you can sort of see that this is a little bit more of a complicated task for a deck because it has to, you know, traverse these blocks and then go to the next block and follow these pointers. Whereas a vector, it literally just goes next element, next element, next element, and it can just go over however many bytes the size of each element is, and that's the next one. So vectors are very slightly better than that at, at just traversing the array, but like I said, if, if adding or removing elements at the front of your container is going to be a consistent part of your design, you want to be using a deck. And so what would this be? This would be if you had some kind of list where you're going to add a bunch of elements to it and then you want to take them out um, in the same order that you added them. So this is sometimes called first in, first out, or F-I, um, F-O, first in, first out. And so... Yeah, that would be a situation where you want to use a deck. To be honest, most of the time, you you're you're fine using a vector. You can make a design that uses a vector, and it's and it's great. 
and using vectors are often sort of preferable to using decks unless, like I've said so many times now, unless you're going to be working, uh, removing, adding elements with the beginning of your container. So I hope that has uh, given you a pretty good understanding of decks and how they work and why you might use them instead of vectors. In the next video we'll talk about a different container uh, which is actually good at adding or removing elements anywhere. And so we'll talk about that next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.